Yo boys, welcome back to another day at Sports Cards Collector. Today we're going to the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Uh, it is my first time going, so it's going to be a new journey for you and I. Hopefully I can show you guys something cool. Hopefully I can show you guys what to expect if you're coming to the Chicago Sports Spectacular. Uh, I am from the Chicagoland area, so a little tip of mine is don't be afraid to head out to this area. It's one of the nicer areas in Chicago. I know that like sometimes you may hear mixed signals and mixed things, but this truly is one of the nicer areas of Chicago. So if you're a visitor or a tourist coming from out of town, don't be afraid. This is a great spot. So uh, let's check it out, guys. So the show started at 9.30. I showed up at about 9.50, thinking I would be early and beat the wave. But when I got there, there was this huge line that wrapped around like five hallways. And it ended up taking me an hour to get into this whole line. But then we finally made it. And this is what you can expect. Welcome back guys. So that was just a little bit of the footage that I got from the show. Unfortunately, I didn't take too much footage and I didn't get too much footage of me making deals. I really just didn't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable. So if you're going to the show, don't expect anything massive. It's not like the national to where there's 500 tables. There was probably about 150 tables. So I was able to at least go through everything within two hours. Of course, I didn't dive super deep into everything in just two hours. I'd say you can do it in a whole day, though. Depends what you're looking for. There was a lot more sports memorabilia than sports cards, which is what I went for. So there was about 20% sports cards and 80% sports memorabilia. A lot of really cool stuff out there. I saw some nice signed helmets, some trophies, as you saw in the recap. But um, all in all, it was really cool. Only 12 bucks to get in, so you can't really beat it. Other than that line, it was kind of a pain. Lastly, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what I did pick up. I didn't pick up a whole bunch, and I'm only really into football. This new mindset that I, I got is don't just buy things just to buy things. When I first got into the hobby, I was just buying things not to go home empty-handed. But now I'm really starting to be a little bit smarter with my money and not just buying things to buy things. I'm only going to buy if it's a deal. And even if that means I'm going to drive out of my way, I'd rather drive out of my way and buy things that I actually know will sell rather than waste money, waste more money on cards that are not going to do much for me. So let's check it out, guys. So here's what I ended up picking up, guys. First, I grabbed this Emmett Smith card. This one was kind of a PC thing. Uh, I just thought it was really cool. I think I got it for about two, three dollars. It's his Pro Bowl. And it's actually numbered out of 7,500. Yeah, I know that's not great, but still cool. Still a uh, cool little PC piece. Then I got this Mahomes game day patch this one was thrown in a deal i believe i ended up getting it for like 20 dollars. it's probably about a 40 45 dollar card i grabbed this tua black and silver prism uh, i ended up getting this one for uh about 20 dollars as well I, I think that's exactly about what it goes for but it's a good hold for the long term if he ever does make it back to the field we'll see then I grabbed these all in a package. These three, 
I got for five dollars. You really can't beat Jamar Chase right now. So I got two Jamar Chases. And this Joey Bosa rookie card for five bucks. Three for five. Then I got this Saquon Barkley card. This one was only about uh, I think he threw in the deal for an extra two, three bucks. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully he makes it back to the field too. Obviously this is an investment card for me. And we got a Lamella Ball rookie card for $5. I asked him the price and as soon as he said five, I said done deal. Lamella is somebody I, me and obviously everyone else thinks is going to be a good long-term hold. So even though it's not number or anything, I'm going to hold this one. I'm, I don't even care if I have to throw it in the back of the closet for 20 years. I'll do it just because I really believe in LaMelo. And lastly, I grabbed all these. Grabbed all these draft autos. I think there is 19 of them. I grabbed them for like three or four dollars a piece. So some of them are numbered. If you can see that 23 out of 99, but I'm kind of just into collecting this set now. I kind of just want to see how many of the 2021, this is uh, not 2021. This is just somebody I picked up as well, but all the rest of them are 2021 autos. I just want to see how many of people, how many of the guys I could get from this year's draft. I kind of want to collect the whole set. It'd be pretty cool to get every 2021 draft auto obviously i'm gonna have a hard time getting trevor lawrence justin fields and guys like that but i'll come if i get close to completing the set i'll end up closing a deal on those guys just to complete the whole set but uh these are about two three bucks a piece so yeah guys that's everything i picked up from the show Thanks for checking out my video. If you did like it, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. Please drop a comment. If you have any questions about the show, I'll be more than happy to answer it. Thanks for checking me out, guys.